everybody. March 22nd, National Bavarian Crepes Day. There's no such thing as a Bavarian crepe. Well, I can't say there's no such thing as a Bavarian crepe, but in my research, there's no specific recipe for a Bavarian crepe. I mean, there's crepes. There's crepes stuffed with stuff if you want to put fruit in them or jelly or Nutella or whatever you do in your crepes. Um, but there's no specific recipe for a Bavarian crepe. So I thought, okay, let's make Bavarian cream and let's stuff it in a crepe. And there's our Bavarian crepe. Maybe a little chocolate syrup on top, too, I think we're going to do. And a little powdered sugar and whatever. We'll think of something. This is one of those creative days. We're taking a bunch of different ideas and we're putting them all together to create a Bavarian crepe. Uh, so I have our stuff here for our Bavarian cream. We're going to do that first because that's something that's going to need to go in the fridge and sit for a couple hours. And then we'll come back later and we'll do our crepes and stuff them with the Bavarian cream and see how this turns out. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Here's what you need. Okay, for our Bavarian cream today we need one vanilla bean, one and a quarter cups of heavy cream times two. We need a tablespoon of powdered gelatin, three tablespoons of milk, a quarter cup of sugar, five egg yolks. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take one of our heavy creams. This is one and a quarter cup and one and a quarter cup. Keep them separate, okay, because you're doing two different things with them. Uh, we're gonna put one of them into a saucepan and we're gonna bring this to a boil, just till it gets to a boil, okay? And in the meantime, while we're getting into that, take your vanilla bean. I've done this before, I've shown you this before. You're going to split your vanilla bean open and take your seeds from the inside out. It takes a little getting used to to do that, okay? See? See all the little millions and millions of seeds? Okay. You're going to put that into your cream here. Make sure you get out as much as you can of those, okay? And then you're going to just throw the whole pot in there anyway, but you just want to make sure you get all your seeds out, your little vanilla seeds into your meat. So we're going to, into your cream. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then shut it off and let it sit for like an hour, okay? To steep and get all those good vanilla flavors together. Let me actually stir that up a little bit. Get that in, okay? Okay, so our cream is all uh, done there. We're going to let that sit for about an hour with the vanilla bean in it and let that steep. I just put my mixer bowl uh, filled it up with some cold water and a couple ice cubes to really get this bowl nice and cold. Because what we're going to do with that other cream is we are going to make some whipped cream. Because this is going to fold into our custard later to give us that Bavarian cream. This is a recipe that I found to make Bavarian cream. Um, so what we're going to do, I want this to be real cold, or half and half is cold, or sorry, our heavy cream is cold. So we're just going to whip this up into a nice heavy cre uh, whipped cream, okay? Homemade whipped cream. We don't want no, no fake whipped cream. No Cool Whip or none of that stuff. Alrighty, so let's whip this up until we got a nice heavy whipped cream. Alrighty, and really, that's all it takes is some heavy cream, just some heavy whipping cream, and a cold bowl. <laughs> And there's your whipped cream. I mean, look at it, it's whipped cream. So we're just gonna put this into a smaller bowl and keep it refrigerated until we need it. It's not gonna like deflate or anything in, a, in an hour or so. Um, so we'll just put this on the side and this'll get folded into, I mean, look how thick. I mean, this is literally nothing else in it, just heavy cream. Just always make sure it's cold. And it took like two minutes. So. Just make sure everything is really cold and you'll get a good result, okay? So we're gonna put this in the fridge and then once our custard is cooled down, then we move on to the next step with the egg yolks and the whole spiel. Alrighty, be back in a few. Okay, and then for the next step, we're gonna take our five egg yolks and our sugar and we're gonna just beat these together, okay? So you get that nice uh, pale yellow color and it's, everything's incorporated and nice and smooth, okay? Eggs right, so are nice and beaten. Now the other thing you're going to do is take your gelatin and sprinkle it on your uh, couple tablespoons of milk here. 
okay? Because we're going to let this bloom, as they call it, and it'll be put into our mixture later on. Okay, so just kind of put that off to the side and let that sit and let that gelatin get going. Okay, so we have our warmed uh, heavy cream here. I'm just going to take this vanilla bean out and we are going to mix this into our mixture here of <clears throat> eggs and sugar. Okay, so we just want to whisk that in a little at a time because it's still warm. So again, like when you're making a custard, you don't want to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't want to cook your eggs. So you're just putting this warm into here, okay? Making sure that you get everything. And as you do this, you'll see that a lot of your vanilla seeds are still in this pot. So really make sure that you get in there and get those seeds out so that way they go into here, okay? So there is our liquid, you know, custard base or Bavarian cream base. Now what we're going to do, I have a, a small little pot here with some boiling water. We're going to put this on here to create that double boiler effect. And we are just going to slowly let that cook and simmer to make sure that this thickens up, okay? We don't want to cook it itself. Um, we just want to warm this up using this double boiler because we don't want it to burn or scorch or anything else, okay? This is the technique they're telling me to do, so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> so our custard here on the double boiler has gotten to the consistency we want it to. And now we are going to add our gelatin into this while it's hot, so that way it'll break up and mix well, okay? So we're just going to whisk that into here. Make sure that's really well incorporated, okay? Because you don't want big chunks of gelatin when you're eating your custard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this bowl is still a little warm, and we're going to put it into an ice bath because we want to bring this to room temperature now. Okay, because then we're going to fold in our whipped cream. Alrighty. Our final step is we're going to take that whipped cream that we made earlier and we're going to just fold this into this mixture. Once this mixture is the right temperature, you're just going to fold this in and, you know, gently. You don't want to beat it because you want it to keep that cream consistency, you know, that thick consistency. We're going to refrigerate this for a bunch of hours anyway. But you just don't want to over mix this because you want the whipped cream to keep that thick consistency that it has, okay? Okay, for our crepes today, we need a cup of all-purpose flour, two cups of milk, a tablespoon of sugar, two eggs, a pinch of salt, and four tablespoons of melted butter. All right, so let's get started on our batter for our crepes. Now, the most important thing that I've seen in my research of recipes is you want to make sure that your mixture is lump free, you know, no little lumps. So we're just going to sift our flour just to make sure we don't have little tiny little balls of uh, flour in here. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to add our milk to the flour. Okay, and then to that we're going to add our sugar and our pinch of salt. Okay. Okay, then we're going to add our beaten eggs to that. Finally, you're going to add your melted butter. That's our last thing we're adding to this batter. Now we've been whisking really good this whole time with each incorporation of each ingredient. So we have a nice smooth batter here. Okay, so what you want to do is get your pan nice and hot, but take a little olive oil with a paper towel or any kind of, you know, non-flavored oil, not olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, um, grapeseed oil, whatever you like, and rub the inside of your non-stick pan. Okay, you need to use a non-stick pan for this. I'm using this 
ceramic coated one. You can use the Teflon ones if you want. I don't have any of those. And just a little tidbit, I'll tell you why I don't have any of those. The reason why I don't have any of those is because for those of you that don't know that have birds, non-stick coating on cookware can give off a gas when it's overheated that is lethal to birds. It will literally kill your birds. I'm not kidding. Okay, see that? Take a little water and flick it into your pan. That's how you know your pan is hot enough for your batter, okay? So now, as soon as you take some batter, not too much, enough, as soon as you pour it in, you want to swirl your pan around right away because you need to make this thin pancake-like substance. <laughs> Okay, and you know when your crepe is basically done, the edges are going to get a little brown and it's going to get very dry looking on the top. You want all that batter on the top to be cooked. Okay, so now you're just going to loosen your crepe because we, have to, we do have to flip it at some point. So here's our Bavarian cream that we made this afternoon, it's actually, we refrigerated it, it's nice and thick, I mean, you can see, it's almost like, uh, you know, uh, like pudding, but really thick pudding, okay? So what you're going to do is take one of your crepes, put it on a cutting board here, we're going to take some of our cream, it probably worked better if the crepe is still hot because it'll probably soften this up a little bit, but that's okay either way. We're just going to spread some along the bottom. It doesn't have to be evenly done because you're going to fold this into those pretty crepe shapes anyway. Okay, so then you fold it in half. And probably press that down and then fold it into a quarter. Okay, beautiful. Look, beautiful crepe. We're going to take a little chocolate syrup. And right on top. How's that? That's Bavarian cream. That's Bavarian cream crepe. <laughs> All right, let's give this thing a taste. Since it's fresh and hot and delicious, we're going to cut right into that. Look, there's all that delicious Bavarian cream inside with the chocolate syrup. Mmm. Really good. It tastes like Bavarian cream donut, I guess. <laughs> Is that what they call them? Or Bavarian cream cake, or really, really good. Because you get that delicious creaminess of the Bavarian cream. And then the flavor of the crepe and the chocolate syrup. Oh, yeah. This is a must do. Really easy, too. I thought crepes were going to be the death of me because I never made them before. And you watch these videos and sometimes they make it look like, oh, it's so easy, anybody can do it. But we had the same problem a lot of them did. They said you usually lose the first crepe, which we did. But that's okay, we pressed on and we made some delicious, gorgeous crepes after that, okay? Be persistent, don't quit, give it a try. Look, if I can do it, you can do it. It was not that hard at all. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish my Bavarian cream crepe <laughs> and i'll see you all tomorrow what's tomorrow's show i don't know we'll see you then see what's up